for the lead off turn number four. Here comes Chase Elliott with those four pressure tires. Well, we'll see if Chase Elliott can complete this pass, but he used a lap car as a pick. He drafted off that lap car as Kyle Busch and that lap car got side by side. He was able to get to the inside rear quarter panel of Kyle Busch and completes the pass now down in one and two. Yeah, Chase Elliott had a really good car. Remember early in the race, he was racing with Jimmy Johnson. They made a couple of tweaks on that car. He's got four tires. He just took the lead from Kyle Busch. And I didn't think anybody was going to be able to do that. Chase Elliott, the nine. You can see he's getting that big toe. The 17 of Ricky Ooh. Stenhouse Jr. tries to squeeze and put the block on Chase Elliott, but... You know what you call that? Taking it to the limit. He took him right up there as far as he felt he could, and he had to let him go. If he had taken it another inch, I can tell you that would have ended up a lot different. All over. Ryan Newman uh, for failing to maintain pace car speed coming to pit road. Yeah, usually that's somebody trying to save fuel, and they've shut the engine off and are coasting too slow. That's usually what NASCAR penalized, but he's going to make up for it right here go three wide. Three wide for the lead. Kyle Busch on the bottom, Chase Elliott up top. Busch Stenhouse, and here's Larson. Yeah, Larson all of a sudden, he's showing up. He's struggling early in this race. Kevin Hart, that four car Mike. Whoa, man, there's some aggressive side drafting going on between the 18 of Kyle Busch and the nine of Chase Elliott. Chase ran him all the way down to the apron. Look at that, look at that, that blue car on the inside. Look at that four car. Kyle he tries restarted that 17 10. car. <laughs> he restarted 10. Man, that's big, fellas. That's big. Nobody has shown anything for that four car tonight. So Matt Tift is the leader. He has not yet made his pit stop. Harvick passes him, and here comes Chase. Wow. It was an aggressive move to get down the quarter panel on that four car, Kevin Harvick, to make that pass. One thing I've noticed about the four car in this run, here we come to the restart with 39 to go. You know how you fix this? Drop the green flag. <laughs> and we did. to race it. <laughs> All that did was get them back on the lead lap, is what that did. But let's go back racing, three wide. And Jones right in the middle again. He's like, I'll show you. I'll go take the lead. He could. But he's going to have to get around that nine car. And I believe that nine car gets clean there. He's gone. Look at how, about, how about third place there? Though? I just think it's amazing. That Chase Elliott's leading here. Bowman, his teammate. Ricky Stenhouse. Ricky's hung in here like this all night long, running third. And right there with these guys. Chase goes high, Alex Bowman goes low. Oh boy. Oh boy, is right. Oh you boy. You can see Chase Elliott goes down and side drafts Chase, uh, Alex Bowman, gets him a little loose. Both cars look stable though. I didn't see the uh, 88 get loose. It'll be 86 laps to go at the line. Oh, we're getting down there to money time. Here comes that push from Larson. Oh, Ooh, Larson. man, what happened to Larson? He clipped the 19 a little bit. He's so close to the nine car. I think he lost the nose and lost some momentum, but he almost took out Truex in the process. Boy, he did. That was so close. Man, he's in a hornet's nest now. So it's Elliott Truex one-on-one -on -one for the lead. And Truex, or, uh, Elliott is going to complete that pass on Truex same way he did it the last time. And we're back under green. Two's right with you. Make sure he stays with you. Lined up inside. In line with you. Right in line with you. Still right in line with you. They're about to get outside of him. They're outside the two on the wall. One back off of you. Half back off you to the wall. Here comes Newman on the outside. And here Big comes Logano. Big shove to Logano. Boy. Wow. 
That six car was coming. He gave, he gave Joey Logano a shove. Boy, that nine car of Chase Elliott, it's so good through the middle three and four, the entry in middle. That's three times in a row now he's been up to clear Mark Truex Jr. for the lead. Zone. Now it's Chase Elliott and Kurt Busch making up row one. Chase Elliott on the outside. Chase Elliott has a chance to control the restart. We'll see what he does with it. The one gets a good push by Kyle Larson, though. Yeah, that outside line was the line on the last restart. This time by looks like the inside line's going to prepare. Here comes Chase Elliott, though. Three wide behind him is sorted out. Chase with a great run off turn two. His teammate Jimmy Johnson trying to fill the hole. Side by side. Chase Elliott blocking, getting to, getting to the bottom, taking that run away. Well, one and two are fighting for the lead. Back to the inside comes Kurt Busch through turn two. Momentum down the back straightaway to the nine car, but side draft by the one of Kurt Busch into turn three. They got close, down. They closed the nine of Chase Elliott, got to the quarter panel. Just trying to slow him down. Kurt Busch not giving up the fight. Yeah, we've Look seen at it. Chase Elliott moving to the bottom. <laughs> he's blocking like he's at a super speedway <laughs> race, but that, we've seen that all year long. The side draft is so important and so critical. Such a great tool for these guys this year. They are very aggressive with it. Off of each other, it's allowing the 22 of Logano to creep into the picture. What does he do? Does he help one of these guys? Does he go to the top, try to make it three wide here? Harvick, he's also coming. Take it up, take it up, take it up, Chase take it up, take is, it up. Take yeah, it up take Chase it. is clear. His spotter telling him, take it all, man. He's closed in on the back of this leader. Joe Logano, man, that nine has got a lot of speed. He's flying. He's just so much faster. He's going to poke out right here, show Logano he wants it. Put Logano in a position where he's got to make a decision. No fight. This nine car is just stuck to the racetrack. Bank of America laps from above, giving you this opportunity to see that change of lead. Still attacking it. This is what you mentioned earlier. Dale, I don't think he's looking to pass him in these infield corners. He's just looking to be close enough. Look at that. Yeah. Driving there. Feel that mirror. A lot closer as he goes into five. Oh, man, that's a pass for position right there. And he's going to take it. Oh, Brad's going to fight him because Brad knows he has the inside line, the preferred line over here. If he can stay there. Oh, man, that's a tough place for Brad. He almost spins the car out. <laughs> and Chase Elliott has now taken the lead. I recant my last statement. Chase Elliott's looking to pass in every corner at the Roval. <laughs> and then look who's in fourth, the 88 of Alex Bowman. <laughs> no one can use the win more. The nine's all over the four. Chase the Elliott outside. to the outside. To the outside. This will be the inside of the chicane coming up. What a move by the nine car. He's going to take the lead. For the race lead, Chase Elliott. Does he get it? Through the chicane he goes. Chase Elliott's up front. Five laps to go. It didn't work a little while ago. Chase Elliott tried to get that outside line working. It didn't work. Let's see if this crowd can make it work. Not going to miss a thing as we go NASCAR nonstop. That's the 17 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Not unusual to see him up front at a race like this. Talked to his crew chief, Brian Patty, yesterday. He said the car draws up well and recovers well. Important right here as he gets put to the middle. Watch that 17 does not drop all the way back through the field. So I checked in with him this morning. He said everything we talked about proved yesterday in stage one. And we think the 17 will be strong all day. Line. That outside line is full of, Chev full of Chevrolets. Chase Elliott is controlling it now. I think one of the better plate racers in the Chevy camp out there. Big momentum on that outside. Nothing Joey can do. He tries to go up there and slow it down. That actually puts Joey in the middle. He thought he could go up and slow it down and then get back in front of Clint oh, Boyer. He couldn't do it. Stenhouse in the back of the 22. And Joey got loose twice there from pushes from Stenhouse Jr.